Hello viewers, welcome to Raxio Hour. We are glad to have you back. In recent years, cases of wildlife trafficking have hit alarming levels in Uganda as many community members, especially those living around national parks, have resorted to poaching wild animals for their selfish benefits. Several endangered species have fallen victim to the inhumane act, including the beloved rare gorilla Rafiki, one of Uganda's best-known mountain gorillas killed by Ugandan hunters in June 2020. As if that wasn't enough, this year, in March, a total of six lions were found dead after a suspected poisoning in one of Uganda's most famous parks. Zoonotic diseases appear to be on the rise as well. These diseases spread between animals and people and are caused by harmful germs such as viruses, bacteria, parasites and fungi, ranging from mild to severe illnesses and even death. These and a lot more go to show how much more should be done for the protection and well-being of Uganda's ecosystem in enabling both humans and wildlife to coexist harmoniously within the same environment. Raxio Data Center RDC sponsored the Zuhakathon, a three-day competition from 12th to 14th November 2021 at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center, UWEC. The Zuhakathon is a competition that was hosted by the Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center, UWEC, in partnership with the U.S. Mission in Uganda to develop new and innovative technological tools to fight wildlife trafficking and zoonotic diseases. Over the course of a weekend, University students, coders, scientists, and wildlife enthusiasts collaborated to create software solutions for real wildlife conservation problems. Participants were equipped with core skills needed to succeed in the competition, ranging from coding to team building, with expert mentors from the conservation and technology fields coaching them throughout the event. This week, we featured highlights from the Zuhakathon finale, well attended by dignitaries such as the American Ambassador, Ambassador Natalie Brown, and others. In this edition, we interacted with a couple of participants who talked about their projects and their anticipated impact on the ecosystem. We also got a few remarks from Raxio Data Center's David Egwell, the Network Operations Center Manager and Expert Mentor at the Zuhakathon, and Dr. Gladys Kalema Zikusoka, Founder and CEO of Conservation Through Public Health, CTPH, who was a judge at the Zuhakathon finale. Let us hear what they had to say. I'm David Egwell, the Services and NOC Manager at Raxio Data Center. We participated in the Zuhakathon, which was a way to use technology to combat zoonistic diseases. These are diseases like anthrax, Ebola, and arguably COVID that have come because we have strayed into animal areas or we have participated in the consumption of wild animal-related products. These three days we have been looking for local talent. These are the teams in Uganda that are programmers, coders, technology specialists of different walks of life, different ages with different ideas. We had 11 teams, each of them with different ideas on how we can use technology to combat one, zoonistic diseases, two, animal trafficking, and protection of endangered animal territories. As Raxio, a data center, we are part of the ecosystem that supports the new oil data. Our participation in this hackathon is to guide and show how all this data we have about animals will be will fit into the ecosystem. For example, some of these solutions involve big data. You're going to take pictures of many animals so that you can use AI to say such an animal was spotted in area X. All this big data needs to be stored and housed somewhere. That's how rocks you're coming. One of the great things about the Zoo Hackathon is that it really taps into the energy, the creativity, and the talent of the participants who are all young professionals, uh, software engineers, technology experts, and uh, conservation enthusiasts uh, to come together and identify these uh, great solutions. My name is Katana Jonan. I am the Chief of Operations at Justice Chatport Limited. At Justice Chatbot Limited, we believe in automation for efficient service delivery. So we develop different AI systems for companies across different sectors. I've been part of a Zoo Hackathon that has, has, that has been organized by the U.S. Mission, WEC, Roxio, 
uh, WCS in partnership with many different uh, organizations and I think it has been a very, a very great experience. We are tax tasked to develop solutions that are addressing majorly three major, two major problems. One focusing on zoonosis and then the other fo focusing on uh, retaliatory killing that is poaching around Lake Embro National Park. So at Team Lok Sodanta we decided to develop a solution that addresses and focuses uh, its energies on the zoonotic diseases that are prevailing across the humans. So our solution was to develop an, uh, an application and a web-based service that can respond to radio frequency identification signals picked from tagged animals and so in that way we are able to tell animals that were bred by uh, licensed centers and animals that were captured in the wild. So how that works is that uh, by the time an animal reaches the airport it is implanted with a microchip. This microchip contains information about the profile, the sex of the animal, the breeder, the new owner, where it is going and all that kind of database that is needed for authentication. So when it reaches the airport, they scan it through the applications and automatically it is able to tell whether this animal is coming from the licensed center or it is not coming from the licensed center. So if the animal does not return data upon scanning, then the logical assumption is it was picked from the wild. This is a technique that could be used by many breeding centers to pick animals from the wild and then mix them up with animals that they have bred and masquerade under one license that, uh, that has a QR code. So that is exactly what we are here to solve and we think that uh, this is going to be mitigated as a problem. I'm Talem Wasandra, uh, Human Resource and Administration, FIDA Uganda. Yes, I do some, some bit of IT. I self-teach myself. I'm Natalie, I'm an IT specialist. Uh, I've been coding since 2017, self-taught, not from school, but yes, uh, it has got outputs out of it. We presented an app called the ROA app. The ROA app it consists of very many, very many devices like the IoT, the IoT devices. So these devices will be used like in the areas, in the areas around around the hippos where the where the hippos are they will be they will be put they will be placed around the imaginary imaginary lines like in case in case the hippos come those sensors can easily be triggered and they produce a sound that that scares away that scares away the hippos from going into people's farmland the mere fact that hippos destroy items let me say the farmlands of people, crops, they can cross from the, the habitat where the environment, like they live in water. So when they cross their, that environment and go outside to the land, they tend to destroy. And on destroying, there are people who get angry and then kill these people. So they kill them out of anger. The solution we have come up with is to use technology. Technology that we don't need people, like the rangers, to come in to come and uh, send back the hippos to where they are supposed to be but the technology we have used the ai and then the sensors to sense the motions to trigger an alarm i'm dr gladys kalema zuksoka founder and ceo of conservation through public health a grassroots ngo that promotes biodiversity conservation by enabling people to coexist with gorillas and other wildlife through improving animal health community health and community livelihoods. It's been exciting to be part of the Zoo Hackathon. Uh, technology is such an important thing. Um, the role of technology is growing in all the different spheres of our lives. And when it comes to preventing zoonotic disease, it really helps with having real-time data. Real-time data is something that you need to be able to provide timely action. If you find out, for example, hippos are dying, you can be there in a very short time. Instead of many hippos dying, you just have let's say 10 instead of 100 hippos dying. Um, you are able to prevent diseases between people and gorillas or any other species just by using technology. It's also very important in preventing poaching because again using real-time data you can quickly alert the rangers, 
the community scouts or any other groups of people about poaching which is there and it's much easier for the wildlife managers, the wardens to make a decision and quickly address the poaching incident. It's really important to engage the youth in using technology to promote conservation, public health and all and sustainable development. It's very, very important. Every idea is a winning idea and Raxio Data Center commends everyone who participated in the Zoo Hackathon. Thank you for tuning in to Raxio Hour. Have a lovely weekend ahead.